Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. So we got this floor here to finish today. It was in the 30s when we started pouring this this morning. We got done pouring at 7.45 a.m. And now it's about 8.15 a.m. So it's about 30 minutes later. And we're gonna check this concrete, see if it's about ready to get on. So if you can see, I'm pressing down in there and I can only push in about a quarter of an inch. You see that? I can only push in about a quarter of an inch. So that means this thing's about ready to start to mag flow. Now, the reason why it's drying so fast is there's warm water in the concrete. The concrete had 115 degree water in it. Plus we put uh, calcium chloride in it, which is a, an accelerator to help the concrete dry quicker. We need this stuff to dry fast today because it's gonna stay cold today and it's supposed to snow tonight. So we gotta get a good finish on this and cover it before it snows. So that's how you get concrete to dry quicker. You need the warm water, number one, and you gotta put some type of accelerator in it. Without the accelerator, you know, the concrete cools right down as soon as you get it laid out and then it, it doesn't dry very good. So one other good thing for us is this has two inches of styrofoam under it. So that helps keep the concrete warm underneath and it doesn't cool off quite as fast. So I'm going to get on this and stop magging it and uh, we'll talk more about it in between hits. Hi right, guys, so this, this video is going to be about how to finish concrete smooth using just a mag float like I'm using right there and a steel trowel. So no power trowel on this one. So I'm going to show you how to finish concrete just using a mag float and a steel trowel. So like I said in the beginning there, you know, we had to put accelerator in this concrete to get it to dry fast just because of the time of year. It's November here in Maine, it's cold, and you know, there was bad weather coming, so we had to get this stuff to dry fast. But either way, you know, when you go to mag concrete, it's, you've got to get on it just the right time to get a good mag float on it. And you don't want to get on it too early or you're just going to have to really mag it again. So like I showed you there in the beginning, you're going to want to be able to just barely press in about a quarter of an inch. Concrete wants to be pretty firm. And that tells you it's about time to mag float. So, that, and that's what it is right now. That's what you see us doing. So we're using these concrete skids to get on this floor. And I'll have a link for those down in the description, guys. Those are kind of like snowshoes for concrete. They, uh, they help support your weight a lot better without sinking into the concrete. And they, they let you slide right across the surface. So it just makes magging and steel troweling a floor like this really easy. So as you can see, that, that big mag float I'm using, I got two different sizes there. I'm just pushing down on the surface, working up some cream, working up some paste. Um, slightly tilting the mag one way and then the other way to go back and forth so it doesn't dig in. And you can see the difference it makes. You can see how much smoother that surface is getting. So we're magging out the bull float lines. You know, we're filling in any little divots, any, any uh, imperfections in the surface. And we're just bringing up more cream so when we go to steel trowel it, it'll be a lot easier to steel trowel. So this is the first process. This is the first pass. You want to use these mag floats, and you don't. You never want to just use a steel trowel. You, you always want to float the concrete first. This will help level it a little better, help smooth it a little better, and it just makes the whole process go a little easier. So this is the second pass. Now this is about 40 minutes after we just got done mag floating. So after we mag float, you know we don't go right into steel troweling it unless. The concrete's drying so fast we have to, but on a day like today where it's only about 40 degrees, you know, we want to let it set up a little bit more, let it dry a little bit more before we start hand troweling it. Otherwise, there's not going to be much of a difference in the surface finish. So we let this dry some, and the steel trowel is, is basically, we use that the same as a mag float. It just leaves a smoother finish. You can kind of tell there by... You know, watching where we've gone with the steel trowel already, it just looks smoother. And again, this this thing you gotta you gotta really tip it up a little bit when you go one way, then tip it when you go back the other way. You can see us right there doing that. And we go when we're using these skids, 
these concrete skids or sliders, some guys call them. What do you guys call them, anyway? Let me know down in the comments. We, we've always called them skids. Um, and these are stainless steel, too. We, we have these. We've had them for years. We use them over and over again. And no, my knees don't bother me. <laughs> I get asked that question a lot. Um, I don't know why, but I've been hand wiping concrete for almost 40 years, and my knees don't bother me. But uh, you can see the motion we go in there. It's kind of like a half circle motion when we finish concrete this way. Now, if your floor, your slab's not this big, if you can reach it all from the outside, that's fine too. You just you still trowel it the same way. Um, you, know, you mag float it out first, then you steel trowel it on your second pass, and any subsequent passes after that, you steel trowel it too until it's done. You can see Luke there in the middle. See how see how he's working up the pace there with his skids. And then when he steel trowels over it, it smooths it right out really nice. He uses his left hand too like I do. I, I can finish with my left hand and my right hand. Um, some guys don't. They just use their right hand. I know with me, my wrists get a little tired, so i got to switch hands every so often. You can see about how much I'm tipping that up, you know, I don't know, three quarters of an inch or so to go one way and then three quarters of an inch to go the other. And you'll still have a few imperfections on this first pass, you know, don't worry about it. Just just get it smoothed out a little better than, than it was when it was mag floated. And you're going to be going over it again, so some of those little imperfections will get better on the next pass. So here we are on the... The third pass, but it's the second time we've steel trowel. So again, we waited about another 40 minutes or so and let it dry up a little bit more. And every time you let it dry up a little more, then go over it again and get smoother and smoother. So some all floors are different. You just you don't know until you're out there doing it. You know, it might take three passes with the steel trowel, it might take four. Um, so right now we're on the third pass. With the, with the total hit, second with a steel trowel. And again, so I'm going around those pipes, you know, Luke and Darren are getting started with the skids, just going right at it. And we don't, I mean, we don't necessarily have any, any certain pattern we go by. We just try to work our way from one end to the other when we do it a floor like this. So again, this is getting smoother. Although it's a little hard to tell in the video, it's getting a lot smoother at this point. Uh, the floor is really hard. And the paste on the surface, is, there's not a lot of paste to work up anymore. You can see how much force Luke is using there in the middle to push down on that steel trowel. So he's, he's pushing down hard like, you know, and Darren and I are too, to work out any of the trowel marks from the previous pass. And any other, the, the other little imperfection, we're working them out and just smoothing in the whole surface at all at the same time. So this is, this is the way we steel trowel concrete floors, concrete slabs, when uh, we want something to dry a little faster. Now if we power trowel this thing, the power trowel is going to work up the paste a little bit more than, than if you steel trowel, so it would take longer. To, to put a nice finish on it with a steel with a power trowel than it would by hand. And like I said, the weather was forecasting rain right about noontime. So we knew we had a very small window to get a good finish on this. So we just decided, the three of us, just to wipe it out by hand. And it worked out pretty good for us today. And the weatherman was right. It did start raining right about noontime. But we had this all covered up by then. It was fine. You can see the little marks my skids are leaving, my hand trowels working those marks right out. If you hold that trowel too flat, you might, you know, you might dig in. Watch how I slide those skids when I pull them off. If I just, see how I slide it? If I just lift up on it, it's going to pull out a chunk of concrete that's going to stick to the bottom of it. And then I'll be, I'll be a little upset at myself having to fill in this chunk of concrete that could be, you know, a quarter of it size of a quarter, size of a 50 cent piece or whatever, about a quarter inch deep. You can see I'm going to go around and buzz the edges just like that, finish that up and that's it for this. Two passes with a steel trowel made this really smooth. Hey buddy, so it's about 1045 
Uh, we just got done troweling the floor. We magged it and then we hand troweled it. We use these hand trowels right here. We hand troweled it twice um, and it's shined out. It's perfectly smooth right now. That's, that's basically the same as power troweling it. So from the time we got done pouring the concrete until the time we got done hand troweling it was three hours. And the reason for the accelerated set, the reason why this stuff dried so fast today on a, on a day that's cloudy, it's about 40, it's probably between 40 and 45 degrees out. It's because we used a, we used a 4,000 PSI mix, so it had a lot of cement in it. It had 115 degree water in the, in the mix, and we used calcium chloride for an accelerator. And I mean, one of the main reasons we're doing that is because they're calling for rain and snow this afternoon. So we wanted to get this floor in today, get it finished, and then we'll cover it up. But uh, just to let you guys know that if you need to get concrete done in a hurry, you know, with the right additives, you can do that. It's not uh, something we do every day, but we had to get this floor done today, and we didn't want the snow on it, then try to come back and do it tomorrow. So that's it. You can see how smooth this is. I mean, when we trowel floors, okay, we lift the trowel up, we tilt it up one way, and then we turn it and tilt it up the other way to go back. So that thing, this thing's perfectly smooth now. Pretty much rock hard. I can't press in at all on that thing. 